iko hai kwa haki zote sawa kwa mwanamke asomeshe mwanaume asomeshe unaweza kupata mimba za kutoni unaweza kupata magonjwa mbalimbali kwamba kumbe sisi vijana kama si vijana ndio kwa tuweze kujiamini ili tuikumbuke sababu nasema vijana ni taifa la kesho kwamba sisi tutakuwa tukiweka msingi wetu imara katika malezi yetu nayo kuwa tukiweza tuweze kujiamini vizuri mwisho wa siku tajenga familia tajenga taifa lenye ubora na mwisho hata maambukizi ya magonjwa mbalimbali hata zote kutoka hapo ili mradi tu uwe na confidence uweze kujiamini na mtajiamini kutetea ujinga ambao sitaki ujinga sitaki ujinga kwa maana si vijana tuweze kujiamini kuepukana na matukio mbalimbali kwa mimi ndio kwa I'm saying a role model is somebody you look up to. You wish to be like that person. Okay? I remember when I was in school, I used to have two role models. Uh, one of them is now, okay, she's a politician somewhere. Yeah. I used to look up to her because I, the kind of personality I saw in her. Her name is Mother Carol. <laughs> so uh, I looked up to her. As in, I looked at her and I thought that this is a great personality for a woman. I'm not gonna lie to her, I don't like her very much. But that time I felt she she portrayed the kind of thing I looked up to. And I really felt and that is that is also something that made me proud. Saying that as a woman I'm comfortable in society and fight like others in the world of men and women. It was quite a tough way to do it. But now I'm not very okay with her for this And also I looked up to Hillary Clinton, one person, not because she was a person.
Tyra Banks. I mean, ni fashionista. But I na tumia kile ile kare ya kerunano kusaidia wasichana wengine. Na ana wakati kwamba yani ukijichukia moyo wewe wewe yani wewe wewe ulivyo wewe usikate tamaa just keep on struggling utaweza kufika kwenye vitu ambavyo unataka. Sio kwamba ana wakati kwamba mimi nimefanikiwa kupitia fashion lakini sio kwamba na ina kufuta yani kwamba unje kwenye fashion kwamba na wewe utafanikiwa. But kwa kile kitu ambacho wewe unakiweza kama wewe ni wa singa endelea kwa hivyo kama wewe ni mchoraji endelea kwa hiyo napenda sana kinsta na bro wa wa sadia wasio na wengine kufikia malengo yao na mimi i wish one day i can be one of the people who encourage other girls and help them to achieve and I mean, their goals and to, to reach from a level i mean level chini you know
they are okay with where they are. That's fine. Every person's opinion is different and we have to respect, isn't it? Yes. Another person who wants to contribute to this discussion? Yeah. <laughs> Naweza nasema kwamba ile ni mifano ya mambo ambayo yatatufanya sio kwa wale wasichana tu wanyesho. Tule ni kama mfano hata kwa kwa sisi wabrani. Ni mambo ambayo yatufanya tusiweze kufikia malengo yetu sisi kama vijana. Tuheshimu wale wadada wanao chat pale. Wangekuwa wana wanafikiria kwamba huu muda nianzishe mali gani niweze kufanikiwa. Niweze kujiunga katika katika vikundi vya vikoba sapos niweze kufanikiwa. Aya aya ni mambo yanayotufanya kwamba tuna tunajihusisha na 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 kitu kimoja ambacho kinatupotezea muda mwisho tunabaki kulalamika kulalamika kumbe ni sisi wenyewe kushindwa kufanya mambo yetu kwa sababu shukran kwa kila mtu na mwingine hmm? very good discussion out of 1 2 3 4 that is the power of visual hmm? you see the power of it visual that is the power Great. I'm not going to lose it. When you look at that one, when you speak to us, I'm not going to lose it. 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 I'm not So, no, 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 you cannot put up your heart. Good, you know, I have some ideas are there when I post them. The young lady in blue, yeah, you, I want you to give me your comment. And then you have to stand up like everyone else and communicate to your peers here. I'm following on our chat. After the media and the chat, and the Saukula, and the Sauk, Fanya Mabaki, and the Guinea, and the Fono Style, and the Sauk, and the Guinea, and the chat, and the Guinea, and the Guinea, and the Guinea, and the Guinea. Na kwa mfano, yule alesu kanyele, abla, yule alesu kasuku. Kwa mfano, abla, mdamuki sana, anangalia nyele zake, uso yake, atiarasi yake, ya nyangalinda mkama ene. Yani yeye ni kwa vile, anafana na inje yu ndiyo shugule ya ki. It's not about the inner self. The beauty we want to know, that it has to come from yourself. Yes, now, gentlemen, don't pretend because there is no gentleman here. I want the young gentleman here to talk. Comment. The girls are also your peers, your friends, your sisters. Like I say, it's a healthy discussion. Who will comment among the gents? I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to labda skills sawa kwa hiyo unakuwa umekosa skills kwa hiyo ile pale ni sio covert bali ile nini umekosa mali kwa hiyo unataka katika kundi la ignorance unakuwa ni ignorance ambayo yani yani una ujinga lakini ule ujinga wako umekosekana labda kutokana na labda maana kupelekwa shuleni kusoma ili kuwa na wewe umeondokana na ujinga
they are mean the children, I mean the kids get married at the age of 16, they have to get married, are they not? 16? Yeah, 16. They have to get married. Now if you look, I mean in America, then in me, the, the children get the kids are allowed to have girlfriend and boyfriend, but I mean if you do research, they don't get pregnant or get HIV or anything sexually related with this. Then, as I've seen in the movies, most of, I mean, most of the movies are dominated by teens. Then they have boyfriend and girlfriend. So that's the, is it a bad thing? Is it a bad thing to have what? To have a, to have a, to have a boyfriend or a girlfriend at the age? Then I'm telling you from what from sex. So that's a really bad thing. Oh, uh, you pose the question to whom? To the yeah. teachers? To, to the, the, to the, to the, okay, to the floor. Yeah, to us. Okay. Uh huh. Who 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 answer answer it that you should be allowed so that you should practice at least you get your experience. <laughs> 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 you know, I have to give you a chance, but at least to be a someone's life, next few questions, then you have to give you the answer. Huh? Yeah? Can you answer it? Yes or no? Yes or no? It depends on what chance, okay, you have the chance. Okay.
sabe? Sisi 
kwa mama shaka mjeuzo au mimi immediately aende hospitali na mimi ni clinic kwa ajili ya ku prevent mtoto guys and girls tumeelewana maybe we should also have something to add okay how you people can keep yourself from being infected and also teaching other people to keep themselves away from being infected are you being just to yourself in every decision you are doing so that is what you are supposed to ask instead of looking for someone out there and demanding your justice i mean justice from uh, the person out there begin with yourself are you being just to yourself at this age you know what is good for you assume you enter into a relationship okay is this relationship going to build you is it a just relationship then you can say okay i need justice to be done to me by b because as a i think i've been just to myself and in being just to myself it is easier for me to extend this justice to another person and you can really know what is the difference because if you're asking for something you don't know even when you get it will you know it hmm? you are looking for gold you've never seen gold but you are out there looking for gold will you know gold someone can bring it to you and say no no they're not this one gold is supposed to be shiny you just left it there okay because your conception of gold is not the right one so as we begin from here especially in the cardinal virtues so the idea of justice giving everyone what is rightfully belongs to the person this is what you are developing here in a way that when we go out there you are teaching these people please you need to respect another person especially in a relationship okay have you given that respect to yourself in the first place and then you say okay please i also equally i i, I also equally expect from you to be respectful towards me you respect yourself and then you respect the other person and the respect comes back to you and then we talk of justice fairness okay the next one is temperance Have anyone come across that word temperance? Temper? Have you ever heard temper? The word temper? Moderation. The word moderation. Have you ever heard the word moderation? No. Okay, with temperance we are talking about here taking charge of your emotions taking charge of your behaviors taking charge of whatever you are doing is just being in charge okay like right here you are in charge of the way you are sitting okay and with the moderation comes in because whatever i am doing because i am in charge of what i am doing i can decide whether to go to the extreme or just do it a bit okay like when you are walking i can decide to walk faster or slow i am in charge of my walking okay so being in charge of what you are doing helps you to moderate okay and with much as one of the philosophers once mentioned 
what you is always in there, in the middle, okay? So in moderation. So once we have this virtue of temperance, it helps us to be in charge of ourselves, be in charge of our emotions, okay? Now, in this aspect of HIV, it means that you are going to be in charge of yourself. We talked of being just to yourself, being the right thing for yourself. So that is also tied to the issue of temperance. And this temperance is very important, especially for you, you, even for every other person, okay? I am going to a dancing hall, okay? I should know my limits. In the dan dancing hall, there are a lot of things which are taking place. Is it not true? What is taking me there is to do what? Dance and do what? Go back home. Now, there you are going to meet a lot of things which are going to tempt you. Are you able to take charge of yourself? And let's not take it far. Let's go back to school. You, are, you all come from those schools we mentioned there, okay? You know what has taken you there. You see your friend doing something completely different, okay? Some have phones, some have this, some are going out at night, coming back with whatever else. Okay, they tell you stories of life outside the school, especially in the middle of the night. Now, you may be tempted to join them. Then in joining them, the result will be very negative for you, okay? So are you able to control yourself? You are in a relationship with someone. Are you able to control yourself in a way that you know that this relationship is only going to go up to this limit? Is that clear? Because you say, okay, just, they say, okay, you can check just once. Hmm? Just one. But they said, Safari Moja? Safari Moja? Okay, so the next time is that it becomes something frequent and you lose control of yourself. So that's where temperance is very important. Doing things with moderation. Being in charge of whatever you are doing. You are the one in control. And this habit, or I mean this virtue, the habit, we have to develop it ourselves and then we can teach it to other people. Okay, am I clear about temper? Okay. Let's move on to <coughs> fortitude. Fortitude is also called someone mentioned this as one of the the values, okay? And I told you that the virtues and the values there is the way they relate. Okay, one giving rise to the other. Okay? Can someone define for us what courage is? I think that should be a bit clear to most of us. Courage. Ability to do something without, without fear. Now, question. This has to be something positive if we are talking about virtue, okay? Because I can go and steal without fear. Am I not courageous? Huh? Yes, I just come and say, I need that pair of skirts. But I'm going to remain, no, 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 I need it. I have the courage first to approach her, second to ask for her skirt, and in public. That is courage, okay? But here we are talking of virtue, we need to build 
positive principles here, values, okay? Okay? So, value, I mean, the, the virtue of quantity or courage, I shall rightly say, is ability to do something without fear, okay? Is it clear? Or that someone has another opinion on courage? That the of that means it could be it could be it can be positive or but it could be courageous. But it is courageous. If you just talk of uh, it is a courageous act, if you talk of courage as courage. Okay? But if you look at courage from the point of view of, our view of fortitude then it has to be a positive act, okay? Whatever you are doing has to be positive, and then it can be a virtue. If it is not positive, then it is a vice. Opposite of virtue is vice.
As I am talking, maybe I've seen something which has offended you. So, let me up to that point. What are you supposed to do? In, in a normal situation, what will you do?
Okay? So it may be, we would like to see why do you like this? Why do you like this particular person? So I will ask each one of you to write down, because I hope all of you have a pen and a paper. The person you like and why you like that person. These people, some of us call them wrong. Wrong what? Yes. So that is just three minutes at most. So write the person you like and the reasons why you like this person. What attracts you to this person? as your role model. The role model is someone you admire the way the person lives, the way the person goes about his or her activities. Okay? I'm giving you an example, but don't take this. Or if, for instance, many people like Obama, especially after the US election when he won. Okay? And people could identify with some of his ability, like he's very good in speaking. Okay? And that's Courage, the fact that he is from our, an African background, finding himself in America where people don't care about your color, especially when you are black, okay? And he could really move and say, okay, I'm going to give this a go, and eventually his courage won him the chance of being the first black president in America, okay? Yeah. Some of you like. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, and some of you like Abu VP? Abu Sir, Professor? Professor Nan? Professor? Ah, you are a new one. You are a new one. You are a new one. Just, it's not an exam. And you know, in your life, 
This is a question which people should ask. Who am I? This is a question which has never been answered by anyone. How many people know the answer to this? Most of the time when you are asked, who am I, you begin, my name is James and Ayaga. I come from, you add, although nobody asks you, but you say, James and Ayaga, I come from Kenya, I'm a Luo by tribe, I'm a student. So superficial answers you give. And then you think you've answered that question. No. Who are you? This is a lifelong question. People who are 85 have not been able to answer this question. Where were you now? Where were you now? Don't give me those superficial answers. I think that's what she was talking about. Discover who you are. <coughs> How many people here know Messi? Messi, the soccer player. Ronaldo. Rooney. Drogba. All of you know these people, right? Yes. How many of you think here Ronaldo know about you? <laughs> huh? You know so much about someone who doesn't care who you are. He doesn't care. But you can sit and watch him for two hours, trying to move a small round thing between two balls and a metal bottle. You don't know who you are. The people who know who they are sit down and look at themselves. They watch themselves. People make comments about Messi, about Ronaldo, about Beyonce, my favorite. <laughs> about uh, who's that Mexican singer? Hips don't lie. <laughs> who's that? Shakira. Shakira. <laughs> 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 my favorite singer. I like her because she sings and she knows how to sing. <laughs> so, but see, people know. My point is this, you need to know yourself. If you are living here and you have forgotten everything that you have learned here, just remember one thing, the life assignment, which will not be marked by anyone except you, is this question, who are you? Who am I? And for you to answer that question, I am suggesting the answer is drink from your own You have everything. You have passions, you have talents, you have skills, you have knowledge, you have dreams inside you. They are not with Ronaldo, they are with you. Bring them out. Use them to know yourself. So this whole exercise you are doing here is to know who you are. Most people make mistakes in life because they don't know who they are. But if you know, Udila, if you know who you are, 90% of your problems are solved. 90%. Because nobody will come and tell you, ah, you know, without you, you are like my little onion, and you know, I can't breathe. <laughs> you make everybody cry. <laughs> no. You say that is bullshit. Keep it for yourself. Weren't you beautiful before I said it? Were you not beautiful? Or it is my words which makes you beautiful. Is it true? No. You are born beautiful, right? No. Any other word from outside? Passing cloud. Passing cloud. Passing wind. As it has come. Look at it as it goes. You are beautiful. And say, what part of me is beautiful? You want, have you ever asked a man when he says you are beautiful? What do you mean? Girls, have you tried to ask? They will either refer to your neck. <laughs> you have a long neck. Or you have a... <clears throat> <laughs> 
<laughs> and many other things which I'm not going to mention here. You know them, right? <laughs> the youth, Nini, Nini, you are the leaders of tomorrow. And because we expect so much from you, you have a huge responsibility, my brothers and sisters. Huge, gigantic, Mount Kilimanjaro type of responsibility. <laughs> to change your life, number one. To change the life of your family, number two. To change your village, number three. To change your district, number four. To change your country and change the whole world. Do you think you can do that if you don't know who you are? You need to know who you are. And don't mess up with your life. This life is so precious. Don't mess up with it. Don't allow anyone to mess up with it. Anybody who wants to destroy your life, say no and tell that person no. No, no, no. 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 What part of no do you understand? No. Simply say no. 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 Say no. No. Don't, don't allow people to mess up with your life. It is not okay. Tell them to their face. Let them hate you. Tell them no. No. The first time I wrote a letter to my girlfriend was 1992. No. I was in form two. How many people are in form two here? Form two. No, no form two. No. <laughs> February the 14th. What happens on February the 14th? <laughs> so I took an A4 size of a paper, like this, and I wrote here, I, I looked at the Oxford Dictionary, I wanted to have verbal diarrhea. <laughs> I wanted to diarrhea new words from the Oxford Dictionary. So I wrote, it took me two hours to write that letter. I wrote everything so nicely, and I folded it. And I gave it to the, the girl in home too. And there came a reply. Got the letter and my heart was pumping. <sighs> so I opened the letter and did you see what she wrote? I thought it was going to be a full page. She wrote. This is a full size paper. And she wrote. That's what she wrote. Oh no. I've never forgotten that thing. <laughs> how many years have passed? Almost 20 years have passed. I still remember what that girlfriend wrote. She said, oh no. I was heartbroken. <laughs> Perhaps I became a priest because of this. <laughs> But this is, so she was categorical, she was direct, she was not beating about the bush, she was direct. Oh, no. That was the end. Next time I was just said, Jenny, how are you? <laughs> I'm fine, Jenny. How are you? I'm okay. Respect developed. So be straightforward, people. Be honest. Be honest. I look at your faces and I say, Tanzania has a great future. Tanzania has a great future. You are the leaders, doctors, engineers, bankers. I want you one day when you stand like we are standing here talking to young people like you, you can say, someone told me this in a seminar at St. Peter I'm telling you today, take your life serious. Know who you are, and life will be okay. Thank you so much.
But it's very nice one. Four pickups, they won't forget. Can I pick up again? Okay, that's good. Um,
implemented program that fosters the integral development among young people. And here today we have come to St. Peter Clever High School. We are here to implement a program to young people of Dodoma and its environs. We have got more than 100 students from different high schools around this place and we want to inculcate best ways of prevention of HIV and AIDS, especially among young people, given that research and statistics have shown us that HIV has really, it has really affected young people. Facilitators have traveled all along from Nairobi to come to Dodoma to implement this program about HIV and AIDS. We have spoken to young people, we have met them, we have come into contact with one of them, some of them one on one, and really, we have really heard so much about And it is our move now. Actually, it's a great concern for young, for young people of Africa. It is our request that each and everyone take up this and we follow it. We rise up to the occasion to manage and try and implement what you have been taught and what you have ta taught young people so that each and everyone in this generation is safe, is salvaged from the, uh, pan the, this pandemic, from all the effects, the adverse effects we have seen young people. We have really listened to them. They have so much concern stretching from lack of communication, actually lack of proper communication, proper knowledge and proper information concerning the pandemic. And it is our wish also to see an HIV and AIDS free generation and as our motto goes, a happy generation. We really want to see such kind of generation. And it is why, that's why St. Peter Clever has been one of our targets because it is a school that was They will really spread the news. Even they will really be ambassadors of change. They will get out and reach out to young people, and this will help the generation acquire or achieve that target we are out for an HIV and AIDS-free generation. So, from St. Peter Clever High School, the Doma, we say bye until next time. Thank you. Jina langu naitwa Mwalimu Luis Kombo, ni Mwalimu wa Saint Ignatius, apa the Doma, pre primary school. Uh, pia ni mmoja wa uh, waratibu wa semina hii ya uh, Happy hapa Dodoma nikishiana na wazangu Mr. Onesmo uh, tume conduct semina hii kuanzia tarehe 13 mpaka tarehe 16 mwezi wa 12 mwaka 2014 tulichukua vijana mbalimbali kutoka shule za mbalimbali za sekondari kama viwandani hiyo uh, uh, Pio St. Francis Mnadani uh, City uh, na Mailbeyo Semina ni kwa nzuri kuwasaidia. Kwa kweli inaonekana muda hautoshi lakini vijana na mambo mengi ya kuwa kuwa wa direct kuelekezwa. Tunajitahidi kwa kitu kifupi kuwaelezea, kuwafundisha na wamelewa na tunatumaini kwamba tupo mbalozi wenzao, kwa wenzao ambao hawakuepo watakuwa walimu wazuri. Labda kichangamoto kubwa ni kwamba uh, inaonekana uhitaji wa program ya Happy ni mkubwa kuliko uwezo wa kufanya hiyo semina katika shule mbalimbali. Uh, tunatumaini kwamba kutumia vijana wachache ambao wamefika hapa na kutendi semina watawasaidia wenzao kule waliko. Na pia eh, for mwaka ujao tutakuwa tunapita labda katika shule mbalimbali na kuconduct seminar ya hapi kwa ajili ya kuwasaidia vijana wengi zaidi waweze kujitambua na kuishi maisha mazuri. Um, labda la mwisho tuwaombe tu vijana ambao wameattend seminar waende basi site kuachana na sisi kwa shida yote na sisi tuko tayari kuwasaidia kwa aina mbalimbali ya malezi bora kwa wale wafano wazuri katika kujana kwa nchi na taifa lao kwa sasa jina naitwa Gwispao Sebea ni mwanafunzi kutoka shule ya City Secondary Dodoma mjini uh, nimekuja hapa St. Peter Clever kushiriki katika kongamano la Agent 
ambayo linahusiana na kuhusu kuhusu elimu juu ya ukimwi. Nimezungumzia swala la HIV kwa vijana wa Tanzania. Ni yani vijana wa Tanzania wamechukulia swala la kawaida sana. Kwa hiyo tunapokuwa tupo kwenye mafungamano kama haya, tunajaribu kuwa tunapata elimu na sisi tulikuwa tumefanikiwa kupata twende tukawasambazie wale. Kwa hiyo kwa sisi ambao tumebahatika kuwa kwenye hii kongamano tunamshukuru Mungu kwa hiyo tunaenda kusambaza kwa watu wengine ambao hawakuwepo. Kwa hiyo tuko tunaomba kwamba mnapokuwa mnakuja kwenye kuja kutoa mambo kama haya Mungu mnajaribu kuwalika sekta nyingi ambazo zinakusanya vijana ikiwemo vyuo, mashule na sekta zingine za taasisi zozote ambazo zinawajumuisha kwa hiyo kwa hiyo nimekuja hapa nimepata vitu vingi kiwemo kuelewa jinsi ya kutomnyenya pa mtu mwenye vya ukimwi pia kuwa kwa kujilinda mimi mwenyewe jinsi ya kujilinda mimi mwenyewe kuepukana na na kuepukana na maambukizi ya virusi vya ukimwi pia kwa ushauri wangu mimi nilikuwa na shauri kwamba makongamano kama haya ndio yanafanyika mara kwa mara kwa sababu wajua wanafunzi wanafunzi wengi mashuleni wakipewa elimu kama hii tutapunguza maambukizi mengi ya ukimwi so jaribu yani hata kwa mwaka tujaribu kufanya hata mara mbili au mara tatu ikiwezekana so kwa benedetta kakai nimetokea shule sekondari Dodoma kidato cha sita nchepoa CBG uh, mi ni kili nicho kifaidika katika semina hii ni kwamba imenisaidia mimi mwenyewe kujielewa kwamba niko katika standardi gani na niko kiasi gani naelewa kuhusu ugonjwa wa HIV AIDS ambao unasababishwa kwa njia mbalimbali na hii sio semina mara kwanza kuhudhuria ni almost kama ya tatu kwa hiyo katika hii program ya AHAPI nimefurahi sana kuwepo hapa St Peter Crever na kuijua vizuri kwa sababu inatusaidia sisi vijana tujielewe tuko katika hali gani na ni kwa kiasi gani kwamba ugonjwa wa ukimwi unatuathiri sana sisi vijana. Kwa hiyo hii program inatusaidia sisi wenyewe kujielewa na tunatakiwa tufanye kazi gani au kupambana na huu ugonjwa wa ukimwi. Kwa sisi kama vijana katika hii program ya AHAPI tumefaidika sana sawa tumeweza kujua ukimwi jinsi unavyoenezwa na jinsi gani tunaweza kuuzuia vile vile napenda kufurahia kwamba hii program iendelee katika nchi nzima ya Tanzania sio kwa hapa Dodoma tu bali hata katika sehemu zingine maana tunajua tunaweza tukapata information sisi ambao tuko hapa mjini tu na kuna wenzetu ambao wako vijijini hawajaweza kupata hii elimu basi kwa ushauri wangu mimi tuzidi sana kuwatembelea vijana wale wako vijijini hasa sisi tuliopata hii elimu basi tukae ndo chachu ya kuendeleza hii elimu katika sehemu mbalimbali hasa vijijini na mashuleni mwetu ambako tumetoka. Kwa hiyo mi huo ndo ushauri wangu sisi kama vijana basi tuendelee kutembelea mashule mengine ikiwezekana kama tunaweza kuwaunganisha pamoja tuwaunganishe ili tuweze ku provide a wide knowledge of HIV AIDS katika sehemu mbalimbali. Hi everyone, I'm Brigitte Roland. I'm from St. Peter Clever High School and I would like to appreciate what a happy program has done. I like to thank them a lot for what they have taught us. They have taught us on how we can avoid this HIV and AIDS transmission and everything about it. We have learned a lot. I like to give this consideration to the youth that we should never ever make bad decisions, but we should have good decisions and have good life skills so that we can escape these HIV AIDS problems and we can be the better people, men and women for others. Thank you. Jina naitwa Rikana Jackson Chali, natokea shule ya Mtakatifu Pio, ipo maeneo ya Kibaigo katika mkoa wa Dodoma. Kwa kweli mimi katika hii semina ya Happy Generation nimeweza kufurahi, nimeweza kujifunza mambo mengi sana. Kwanza nimeweza kujifunza jinsi gani naweza kuwajali hawa watu ambao wanaishi na magonjwa na virusi vya ukimwi. Pia nimeweza kujifunza jinsi gani taifa linahitaji kuwakomboa vijana kwani vijana ndio taifa la kesho na ndio vijana ndio tegemeo la kesho kwa mkezazi kijacho ambapo sisi lazima tukiunde tuiunde taifa ambayo itakuwa jema ambayo itakuwa halina magonjwa na tofauti magonjwa mbalimbali ili mradi tu tuweze kuishi katika imani takatifu ambayo Mwenyezi Mungu atupa uhai na tuweze kulinda uhai kwa kutenda wale matendo mema pia napenda kuishauri serikali kwa ujuma 
kwamba iweze kuisaidia hii private sector uh, happy ili waweze kuikomboa dunia waweze kuikomboa Afrika kwani Afrika ndio tunahangaika sana napata maelezo mbalimbali kwani ningeweza kuishauri kwamba serikali iwape support itoe support kwa kwa kwa, kwa, kwa hii hapi ili waweze kutuomboa sisi vijana sisi ni vijana ni tegemeo la kesho ni kizazi cha kesho tunahitaji msaada tunahitaji support tutoe kwenu sasa hivi kuna magonjwa mbalimbali kuna matatizo mbalimbali ulimbukeni mambo mbalimbali yanatokeza katika taifa letu katika Afrika yetu lakini napenda sana kwamba serikali kama serikali iangalie kwa macho mawili hawa hawa hapi ili waweze kutuongoza sisi vijana tuweze kuwa katika maadili mema na pia na napenda kwamba wasiishie kwa sisi wanafunzi bali waende hata kwa umbali zaidi wakaanza wakaenda kwenda kwa matakwa wakatembea mikoani ili kutangaza kujua nini madhara ya ugonjwa ukimu nini athari zake ili tuweze kuwa vijana tuweze kujenga taifa ambayo itakuwa na nguvu ambayo itakuwa na uwezo wa kuweza kuikomboa dunia hii kwani magonjwa ni mengi utandawazi ni mwingi pia na naweza na, 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 na kuwasii vijana wenzangu kwamba sisi ni vijana taifa linatuangalia kwa macho mawili sio taifa ni dunia nzima ambayo tunahitaji maendeleo tunahitaji kuendeleza taifa letu tunahitaji kuendeleza Afrika yetu tuonekane kwa tena matendo mema lakini sio kwamba kwamba Afrika inaongoza kutenda matendo mabaya hasa ugonjwa wa ukimu hii ni hatari sana na, tu, na ndivyo hivyo takavyozidi kulidimiza uasili wetu wa taifa uasili wetu wa Afrika kwa mtaonekana sisi ni watu wa chini kumbe tuna uwezo tuna uwezo wa kufikiri Mwenyezi Mungu atupa nguvu tuna uwezo wa kufikiri kutenda yale matendo mema na ambaye atatujenga baadaye katika msingi wa elimu na pia taweza kukua kali katika maadili mema hata nchi za, za, za mbali zetu kwa ngambo kumbe Afrika sasa hivi wameendelea Afrika sasa hivi wanajizuia na magonjwa mbalimbali ninachoweza kusisitiza kwamba taifa kama taifa, taifa au Afrika kama private kama sekta mbalimbali mbali, mbali, zinataka kuisaidia ya hapi tunaomba Mwenyezi Mungu aweze kuwaangalia kwa macho mawili ili aweze kuisaidia ya hapi kwani wanatujenga tight wanatujenga vijana katika maadili mema hiyo mimi ndio maoni yangu na napenda kumshukuru ashukuru sana hapi wameweza kuniweka katika msingi mzuri na imani Mwenyezi Mungu atanisaidia nitakuwa imara katika maisha yangu ya baadaye na nashukuru sana my name is Millicent Mohele uh, I'm a teacher at Saint Aloysius Gonzaga I work hand in hand with a jan program yes with um, we have traveled to Dodoma Tanzania for for around three days just to educate the youth in Dodoma about this issue of AIDS because it's an issue that has, is supposed to be looked at in great in depth I as an individual have spoken to them have facilitated to them issues on AIDS and I think this issue needs to be dealt with a lot of attention because most of them seem to be not having the information about HIV and AIDS. I think this program has really done a great deal to them because most of them didn't know about so many issues based on their background in this country. And I believe if the Ajan program continues with this, with this issue, I believe so many youth all over the world, but starting with the sub-Saharan countries, we shall do a great deal to deal with this HIV and AIDS pandemic because it's a great, it's a great issue. It's a, an issue that is affecting both the, the youth and the adults in one way or the other. It's, uh, most of the youth are affected and most of them are also infected. So I believe as giving them the information, it will help them know how to prevent themselves from all these problems and it will be a great deal. Ah.
kwa jina naitwa mwalimu Onesmo Mtewa ni mwalimu wa fasimita kleba na afundisha somo la biolojia kidato cha tatu kuna seminar ambayo nilikuwa nimeorganize ya ahapi kwenye maana kwamba aja HIV AIDS prevention program for the youth ni program ya majezuit ambayo inahusika na prevention of HIV and AIDS especially to the youth hii program ni meorganize hapa Sintita ilikuwa na changamoto zake kwa maana kwamba eh, to get the participants because they are from different schools kwa hiyo ilikuwa kidogo ni shida uweza kwenda kwenye shule husika kutuma barua na hivi basi kulikuwa na changamoto zake lakini yote hiyo tumeweza kufanikiwa kwa saidiana na shule hasa mkuu wa shule ambaye amekuwa tukio support kwa kila stage ambayo nilikuwa naenda lakini pia nawashukuru sana Ajan wenyewe ambao ndo walio support kwa finance eh, hii project au hii program uweze kufanikiwa hapa Sanita eh, program tunategemea kwamba itakuwa na faida kwa participants ambao walihudhuria kwa maana kwamba tunawapa elimu juu ya ukimwi na namna ambazo wanaweza wakaishi pasipokuwa na kudhurika na hili janga la ukimwi kwa sababu program ililenga shule tofauti za hapa Dodoma mjini na shule karibia 13 ambazo zimehudhuria hapa. Kwa hiyo tunategemea hao wakilisha ambao walikuja kwenye hii program wataenda pia kueneza ile elimu ambayo tumewapa kwa wenzao huko mashuleni. Kwa hiyo tutakuwa tunasaidia hiki kizazi cha kwetu cha leo kiweze kisiweze kuathirika na hili janga la ukimwi. Basi napenda kuwashukuru sana Ajan na timu nzima ya Ajan ambao ilitoka Nairobi ambao walikuja kutusaidia kama ma facilitator lakini pia ndio wao walio finance project basi napenda kuwashukuru sana na tumekamilisha picha nimekamilisha